hello traders welcome to this recording target 300 a day per contract from my master trader program in today's session we're going to be looking at some charts it's not going to be a really long video but there's some really important points I want to get across so as usual please have pen and your trading notebook ready because hopefully I give you some ideas tips and ideas that you can use immediately that will help you improve your win-loss ratios and I suppose what today's recording is really about is how to achieve 70% plus winning trades now in achieving that what does that really mean for you well show me a trade of it has a burning desire it has a compelling future and I'll show you a trade of it's got probably one of the highest probabilities of succeeding as a trader and that's probably one of the most important things that I really want to get from my coaching clients and from my members and really instill into them that you've got to have a compelling future is that you know give me a lever big enough and you can move the world and it really comes down to succeeding as a day trader you know you've probably heard the saying saying that you can't be half pregnant likewise when it comes to mastering the art of trading you can't just give it a go it's a profession and it's a business it's something you've got to treat seriously and that's just something which is underestimated or I suppose because there's so much free information out there let me just gather my thoughts here. there's so much free information out there that traders just roll the dice and think well we'll give it a go and see how we go if you truly want to succeed straight away you're going to fail if you're coming from that mentality so let me just show you this here now I always talk about achieving $300 a day per contract is a realistic target for a day trader that's perhaps trading the New York session or perhaps it's trading the London open the first two or three hours of New York maybe first two or three hours of the London session or the first two or three hours of the globe session after New York opens uh, reopens at 6 p.m. Eastern uh, there's some great trading opportunities for the next three to four hours now this little table here in front of you I just want to put this out now I know many existing members and uh, viewers of my youtube channel have seen this many many times but if you're new to my channel if you start with capital of three of five thousand uh, dollars and you achieve two hundred dollars a day then that's a thousand a week after five weeks you go to trading two contracts after 10 you're basically uh, increasing a number of contracts after 10 weeks and uh, within no time 16 weeks I think it is you're earning up to ten thousand dollars a week now the point this is an illustration of the power of earning two hundred dollars a day now to do that traders you target 300 because you are going to have down days you're going to have losing days you're going to have days where you far exceed that and days that you're under so just want to put that out there so gather a compelling goal now if you said to me Ray what is a realistic target for somebody that knows their stuff it's been working at the setups $300 a day traders for a day trader that is working two to four hours a day now I know there's going to be traders that far exceed that and they'll do it in their first hour per contract and there's going to be others that will take all day uh, and just on that point I'm really against day traders working any more than four hours a day um, because you start to make mistakes but that's uh, we cover that in other videos but let's get back to this because I want to give you uh, a couple of ideas today and perhaps for those experienced traders watching this um, uh, and this is actually I should say this for all traders always watch my videos to the mindset of what can I learn from this can I pick up just one idea well of course I know you're going to pick up multiple ideas and sometimes you'll hear ideas and things that you already know you may have forgotten I've just reminded you of so if you haven't watched my videos for a while or if you're new to my channel there is a risk disclaimer very very important that you pause the video and read the risk and you understand there is a risk in trading if you haven't already visited my website or requested one of my free ebooks I have a number of free ebooks um, you can get them free uh, I've got a training manual there we've got the uh, ebook the uh, truth about day trading and most importantly become a member of the day traders fast track program by the way the ads nearly over relax I'm not going to do a big advertisement here but for $197 you receive uh, there's actually now over 250 videos 
uh, in my training program there's free indicators there's manuals as many of my members will tell you it's basically a gold mine when you join and you see what's on my Google Drive it is a gold mine there's over 25 years of R&D of information there that I've gathered it's huge so anyway visit my website there's videos there where you can see exactly what you get let's now get into this there's a lot of information I want to cover now I keep pausing these videos because I'm actually getting over a, a long-term cold I've had it for five weeks and I keep having these little coughing fits so it seems that I pause I am it's because I don't want to cough into the microphone so forgive me so the first thing we want to start off with is talking about probabilities now this is taking now this is the road to getting you to 70% so stay with me we need to start to think in random distribution we need to stop thinking about the trade that we're in the one isolated trade unfortunately so many traders uh, will look at one trade and they'll pin all their hopes on this one trade you need to be thinking in lots of 20 so let's just say you have 20 trades that have a 70% win rate and I'm going to be showing you how you can do that today so that's 14 trades now it is possible it's possible we may have six losses in a row as well but it's very very important traders that rather than focus on that one trade that you start thinking in batches of 20 trades okay it starts to change the way you think it takes a lot of pressure off you as a trader now if we consider CL of course CL uh, which is the black gold is oil uh, you've got fantastic volume uh, during the New York session and during the Globex session and you also get some fantastic trends if we look at markets that trend really well today of course you've got some of the Forex markets you've got um, if we get a, a chance if we don't go too long on this video we'll have a quick look at the YM futures contract uh, the yen well, uh, there's the uh, euro of course trends really well you've got the NQ the NQ trends beautifully during New York and the Globex session you've got YM uh, trends beautifully during the New York session you've got fairly low volume during the Globex session which can be a concern gold as much as gold can be a beast there can be some great trends on it so there's some fantastic markets but getting back to this on CL if you have 14 winning trades by six ticks it's eight hundred and forty dollars if you had six losing trades okay so 70 percent winners and uh, 40 percent um, sorry 30 percent losses that's 360 let's just say your commissions are five dollars are actually less than that nowadays it's a hundred so you're netting 380 so the big question is how do we get our 20 trades in a day what are we going to do to do that well the first thing I want to have you do as a trader is to trend trade only and this is really difficult uh, we as traders have this burning desire to be always attempting to pick tops and bottoms highs and lows turning points in the market yes there are some excellent setups and strategies that we can do and I'll perhaps some point some out as we go on to we'll probably just see them screaming at us on the screen uh, in a moment but the big thing is is you've got to build that muscle that discipline muscle and and uh, really discipline is like a muscle the more often you exercise your discipline the better you become at it so to get to your 70% winning trades which will get you of course I know if your win loss ratio is in the right area but it's going to get you uh, in the black you're going to be making good money so trading is really easy why make trading harder than it has to be buy dips and sell the rallies the trend is your friend and the best metaphor analogy I can give you is that if you fall in a river you go with the flow of a river in nearly every case you don't fight the current you go with the flow of a river and it's just so important when it comes to trading so there's some key things that we need to do in finding our trend trades the highest quality trend trades now we could spend by the way two or three hours just drilling down on this but very basically we want to find the trend and we do that through our EMAs and using an anchor chart for the higher time frame we want to, that is we want to look for the retracements on our lower time frame on our entry chart 
and follow the trend on the anchor chart so we need to effectively learn how to find the trend spot the retracement the pullback we then execute our entry that is a very clear-cut entry and stop-loss rules and of course we never ever trade without a stop-loss then of course we need to plan our exit and there's once again we could spend a whole one or two hours just on planning our exit but there's some key points here that we really want to get across which we will and we're going to go to the charts in one moment so let me take you to the charts so why don't we have a look to begin with what have I got there okay so let me take you sorry Trace I'm just going to have a look so let's go straight to CL okay so what we're looking at is the black gold now I'm going to actually talk about very briefly the Globex session so today is Friday in my part of the world it's uh, Friday the uh, uh, first of the six or I should say uh, well for my New York friends my US friends it is still the 31st so we've just had here the open of the globe accession now we have a saying in our business and it's called follow the gold and you can see the gold the yellow EMA that is absolutely essential that we follow that now I sent a screenshot out to a number of my members earlier let me just show you this let me just get this up and here it is here uh, from earlier this morning when it opens so by the way Australian time the Globex market opens at um, uh, 8 a.m. so I sent this out not so long after the open where we had a rally up we had a couple of really nice trades on gold and down here I said we had a, a 200 B I said may turn any time and what happened uh, virtually straight after that he was at turn and it turned and followed right so you had your bounce but we all very high percentage of the time we know that we're going to get a, a 34b here and a t2 and away it went then the trend just took off before we had a turn now the point I want to get up here is we want to follow the long-term trend <clears throat> now we know that a trend has a higher probability of continuing than what it has in reversing so if you say use an ATR like these little red dots you can see here and these blue dots or maybe use like the uh, blue trigger line I've got here um, there's a whole lot of tools you can use that will keep you in this trades that allow you to if you're a scalper of course you can scalp or you can trail and pick up some of these really good moves but the big point is is following the trend if you want 70% winners have a high probability a pullback entry strategy now of course for us at I'm a day trader we've got what we call the t1 we've got the rule of one we've got um, uh, the t2 slingshot we've got a whole host of different trade entries that we'll use now up here you may notice I've got a little note here I said what's happening on the AC this is for a members video I'm doing later if we looked over at the anchor chart over here we can see here we had a great EMA trade uh, bounce at the same time so you can see we had a really good strong pullback and this is a trend continuation trade that's what you're looking for as traders now for my regular members yes it was a fantastic amount of angulation here was a great VT V trade uh, here was another one now let's go and have a look at gold for a moment now gold is a fantastic market it can be a wild beast and I recommend that traders with a larger account should only consider trading gold now here we can see once again we follow the gold excuse the pun so we're looking at uh, GC the gold market and we want to be following our goal now here so far today so the market's been open what about four hours now we haven't had any really great strong trends as yet on gold usually during the globe session you'll get some really good moves uh, but what works really well and for members that are watching this your t10s are great setups during the globe session all right they work absolutely brilliantly so you've got uh, here a couple of uh, great winning t10s uh, and remember we we're talking about trading divergence well traders here is just uh, this is an absolute textbook t19 setup uh, we can see here I've got some beautiful divergence there I've got a higher high 
and if we look over at the anchor chart what have I got happening on the anchor chart let me just do this and show you here uh, let me just do one thing so I can show you this is really important okay look at this over here all right so we've got fantastic divergence right against really strong resistance in and it can't get really any better than that all right so we had a, a, a classic t19 divergence trade right up against resistance on the anchor chart this is what we call a classic t19 and it just increases your probabilities dramatically when you've got that now we come back down here and you can see here we had a really great sell off and this is where trailing you can do really well we had a nice little divergence trade again look at this great divergence on my platinum nice little double bottom and remember double bottoms and double tops traders just why I think of it um, are quite often a really good sign of a reversal in the market of an oversold or overbought market at that time now my rules for a double top or double bottom just while we're on it is that as long as I'm within it within two or three ticks the higher the time frame the more leeway I'll get so on my entry chart I like to see a double bottom or a double top form within two ticks otherwise it's it's not a true double top top or bottom this is within two ticks thank you very much here is another one thank you very much there we're pushing the luck a little bit but what I did have was beautiful divergence I had a nice higher high the market um, the bias just couldn't keep pushing it higher then it fell away thank you but getting back to what we were talking about earlier is our um, uh, trading with the trend so let's just have a look here this is the yen now remember you've got the yen euro USD you can trade uh, on the Forex market here I'm looking at the the currency futures markets now uh, because I'm a futures traders I uh, trade in now fully uh, that's I don't trade Forex anymore but I used to be full-time up to six years ago that's all I would probably 90% of my trades now I just trade futures but the setups are exactly the same and basically the Forex futures contracts model uh, the futures um, sorry the Forex market but there's some advantages such as much lower commissions etc but the main thing I wanted to get to get across here with you is to follow the gold here we've got the gold now this is what we call an overshoot and a 200 B now what's so good about this trend continuation trade was if you look at your anchor chart once again and I've got two anchor charts I've got by the way I've got a three tick Renko here a five and an eight now I won't always display the uh, the third higher time frame and I won't always use it but it's handy so what you usually see me doing is this okay particularly during the globe session. now if you look at your entry chart if you look at the entry chart we can see here we've got a great strong downtrend yes we had a, a pullback but our 200 still heading down but look over at your anchor we can see here great fanning of our EMAs and everything's heading down it's heading south so not only did we get a great pullback here but what have I got here the yellow dotted lines are what the MI floor pivot so I've got a great pivot bounce and okay I've got a 200 B and it's supported over here on my anchor chart now when you look at the yen and the euro it's 625 USD a tick and this is where you can jump on these and they can be really great trains here you follow the ATR or use your trigger line or you can trail um, uh, behind your bricks there's a lot of things you can do here to pick up these big moves now one thing I do want to say and actually let me show you this is that when you're looking at trading these markets um, here I've got the Renko now Renko can really smooth out the noise can really smooth your charts out but if you're used to using tick volume charts you can also hold or hide I should say some valuable information such as um, what we've just flipped over to here is gold so what I've got here is on the left I've got the 89 tick chart on gold and on the right I've got a two brick or two tick Renko so if you're not used to trading 
Renko charts uh, or you want to get some of the finer information what you can do is do what I've done here is you can have the equivalent up now I should point out that during the um, New York session I like to see a minimum probably of a 144 tick maybe even up to a 233 tick as your main entry chart during the globic session you can drop that right down to an 89 tick which is what I've got just here so if you're used to uh, trading tick charts you're still getting used to Renko simply put up the charts side by side now we can see here it's fairly similar so you can see here's this little uh, divergence trade let me just point this out here so you've got a nice divergence trade there there it is here you can see it on your uh, uh, tick chart and you've also got it there on your Renko but just notice how much smoother the Renko is so you can if you're not used to it um, uh, just simply display them side by side now another great trendy market that you can trade and use is the NQ now so far today the NQ we haven't had any great strong trends yet all right well maybe you can argue this is a strong trend okay this is the open of the globe accession you can see here we've got our 89b but it was too fast to enter quite frankly we rallied up here we had a great t19 you could even call that a triple top it's within a couple of ticks come down and I actually said to members earlier uh, this was an 89b but there was a lot of them um, and the but was there was a lot of conflict on the anchor chart and on the third high time frame so what you can actually do traders when you see that you can form what we call a box and wait for what we call a box breakout now one of the other things to do is when you start to see your long term uh, your stochastic getting caught in the middle or you see your EMAs intertwine like this that tells us that we're in a period of consolidation now uh, even myself I was guilty of this where I'd feel really concerned about cons consolidation zones but one thing um, that I want you to learn is that when you go into a period of consolidation you know that there's a 95 percent chance you're going to get a fantastic breakout in one direction or another which is exactly what happened now where do you actually then get in when you have these breakouts because what you'll get of course is a lot of what we call bull traps and bear traps that is where you get in only to see it reverse and go back the other way and you can see you basically had a small one here a lot of traders would have been stopped by this entry well one of the techniques and I will just say while we're on this is to wait for two higher closes outside your box or to wait for the first decent retracement uh, for members uh, my members that are members of the day track the day traders fast track program uh, a great one is just to wait for your first T2 okay wait for your first T2 after you get a breakout that can be a great tool but what you're looking for overall is with the NQ and we once again we've gone in consolidation and we can see that happening on my on our anchor charts is here you'd be setting these out but what you want traders if you want to do really well and get your trading at a 70% probability trend trade only look for a fanning of the EMAs plan your entries plan your stops plan your exits but trend trade only if you um, uh, stay right away from your divergence trading uh, until you're consistently profitable as a trend trader I guarantee you it will dramatically improve your trading results the problem is a lot of traders are just damn impatient uh, or they keep breaking the habit for an example one of the ways to break the habit of what I call impulse trades is to take a yellow post -it note <coughs> excuse me a post-it note of any color um, the most common one of course is yellow and to post it over your dome or over your dom so when you go to place a trade you got to physically rip it off or lift it up so you can also stick it there with sticky tape so you got to lift the flap up um, and you can put on there is no CT trading or no impulse trades so you're basically stopping yourself from going and clicking the dome you got to lift you got to break that cycle of automatically clicking on that trade 
it's just one technique of many that I teach my members in both coaching and in um, my trading overall is that it's very very important that you break that but traders getting back to what this video is about it's about getting to 70% plus winning trades follow the gold follow your major EMAs in the direction of your anchor chart and I promise you um, you'll start to see black at the bottom of your accounts um, statement for at least four days out of five every week thank you traders I'll see you on the next video